Hey, it's Phoebe with Matt Behind the Camera, and today we are exploring one of Australia's largest and well known cities. Baby, come and be with me tonight. I don't want to go across it for light, but I'm ready. Famous for its iconic landmarks, beautiful beaches, stunning harbour front, and great food scene. Sydney is a must-visit destination for locals and travellers alike. Now I have a lot of great things planned for the two days that we are here, but you guys, the weather has been on and off raining, so I have no idea what that means, but we are going to figure it out together. Starting with something very cool this morning, I think you are going to like it. But first, our video this week is sponsored by the amazing team at Nikon, and in collaboration with them, we are going to be filming our entire episode on the powerful Nikon Z30. This little guy is a vlogger's dream and I think you're going to love it. So let's get started. To start things off, we are combining two of the best things, sightseeing and fine dining. We are doing a lunchtime harbor cruise. Um, now, when I was looking for one to book, there were a lot to choose from, but I chose this one because it looked a little bit more luxury, a little bit more high end. It's all inclusive with the drinks and of course, fine dining. What I love about this concept is we're gonna be able to see everything, all the major attractions with absolutely no effort. And of course, there's food involved. Now, this one was booked through Kluke and I will have that linked below for you. The things you're doing to me It's like something out of a movie You see right through me It's like you already do me It's a really small crew. I saw a lot of people waiting at the dock and I thought, oh, I hope it's not a lot of people. I wanted something smaller and intimate. And it is exactly that. We have got the king of tables back here. It's just the two of us. Um, they do have group tables if you're like with four or six or something like that. But. This is so nice. It's even fancier than I thought it would be. Baby, come and be with me tonight. I don't want to go across it for right, but I'm ready. All right, so what I'm doing is looking at the map. I actually didn't look at the map of where we actually go. Um, so this is it. Maybe Matt will flash it up on the screen for you, but we're going to go all the way out to Watson's Bay back so I think the format is you come inside you sit down lunch drinks all that good stuff and then on the way back I think we'll go outside and then do the sightseeing portion all right this is off to a flying start I am so happy this is even better than I thought it would be the boat is like a 78 foot luxury vessel and it is gorgeous there's so much space now, the menu here is a la carte. You get to choose, which I like. I don't like an alternate drop. I don't like food being forced on me. I still want to have some control over what I'm getting. So they have three options. It looks like they do a red meat, a white meat, and a vegan vegetarian option. Hello? Yes. And what you'll see through this whole menu is it is locally inspired, locally sourced. And that's what I really like about Journey Beyond as a brand. They really focus on Australian wines, Australian food, Australian flavors. I love that. Just careful the plates hot. And, uh, it smells incredible. Oh my god, my mouth is watering. We skipped breakfast today because we knew we were coming to eat all this good food, and I think that was a good decision. <laughs> it's really hot, and it's really good. That was fantastic. Um, that took about three hours, give or take, and it was an awesome experience. Both Matt and I can't stop raving about it. We loved it and if you happen to be visiting on a terrible weather day like we are today that is a really good way to do it um wet weather totally fine although if you did have blue skies and clear water i think you would be so so happy now i have a couple of really fun things planned for us over the next two days uh we are staying at a great airbnb i'm so excited to show you it's in the best location but right now we're gonna go and do something we haven't done before the lunch boat cruise starts and ends in Darling Harbour. Now, if you came off that cruise and you were like, I want to do an activity, I want to be on my feet, moving, doing stuff, seeing things, there are actually a few options. Um, you can walk maybe 100 metres away from where you got off the boat. You have Madame Tussauds, you have the Sydney Zoo, the Wildlife Zoo, you have Sea Life Aquarium, and I think you can also buy tickets there to go up in the eye. Um, we can have all of those linked below for you if you want to book those but we feel like taking it easy we're having a luxury adult relaxed easy fun day today and what better place to do it than a great bar with a great view so we have come here to smoke now this place is awesome it's really 
lovely. They have lots of greenery and gardens everywhere. Big fire heaters so you can stay warm. Their drinks menu is epic. Plenty on there to keep you very happy. So we're just going to sit, relax with a few drinks and enjoy this amazing view. So one thing I've never been able to do is vlog before because there's never been a very angle monitor. Oh my god. But here we have a very... <laughs> We have a very angle monitor, so I can vlog. The sun is out. <laughs> this blue sky started pushing across, and we've waited for our moment, and um, we've gotten the lovely staff here just to quickly dry off the table and chairs, and that was the power move, because it is amazing when you get to sit on the edge. To get around Sydney, we decided to treat ourselves to a hire car. You might remember our last trip, we just used Uber, but there's so much we want to do on this one that I thought a hire car is going to be way easier, and we can cover more ground. So for parking today, I actually got on Secure Park and we parked at Market Street. We pre-booked it. I think it was $16 flat rate because it's a weekend, so it was super cheap. Um, we're gonna head back to the car now and then show you our accommodation. But first, <laughs> it is time for the special dinner reveal. Okay, we have two options for dinner tonight. So Matt doesn't know anything about this. Mexican. One of them is Mexican, of course. It is called El Loco. The menu looks really nice. I love Mexican food. But do you want to know what the second option is? Yes. Do you know what they have in Sydney? Pizza. Yulies. Yulies? Is that from Byron Bay? From Byron Bay. Oh. Remember Yulies? Vaguely? Is it the vegan joint? It's the vegan joint. You loved it. Oh, you loved raved it. about it. it. Okay, all right. So yeah. you have to choose between either Yulies or El Loco. El Loco. Okay, that makes you really happy. <laughs> Why are you drunk? I'm driving because it was all-inclusive drinks on the boat and I have not had a drop of alcohol. <laughs> you, however, have had enough for the both of us. For accommodation, we are staying at this Airbnb in Surrey Hills. Now, I love staying in Surrey Hills. It is such a great location. It's really easy to get here from the airport, and then it's close to everything we want to see, eat, and do. Plus, there are loads of great restaurants, cafes, and bars in the area. Now, this Airbnb is exactly what I was looking for. It has a separate bathroom with a washer and dryer, a great sized kitchen, and a separate bedroom, which is perfect for us because we're coming back from an overseas trip and we needed to catch up on rest and laundry. And not only that, but it also has a car park. Now, best of all, the living room here is super spacious and cozy, so you can just cuddle up on the couch, watch movies and relax. I have this Airbnb linked in the video description below for you. I say it all the time because I can't see and then on this camera on the Z30 there's a bright red light on the front of it and I can see when it's recording. It's really helpful. Um, Alright, so for dinner tonight we have come to El Loco. Matt's pick one of course and this place is all about the Mexican food. Now they have a few locations dotted around Sydney. We've come to the one right near us in Surrey Hills. It was like five, ten minute walk max. Um, we ordered through the QR code. Matt's got quesadillas. I have ordered way too much food. He's going to have to help me eat it. I've got their Sunday Chef special. Really well priced. It was like $25. It's mushroom and tofu filling. With these beautiful corn tortillas. Oh my god. Yum. They were quite possibly the best quesadillas I've ever had in my life. <laughs> they were full of chicken stuff. I'm going the wrong way. How often have you guys asked Matthew to be in front of the camera not behind? He's never done it and now he is. Sydney. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sydney hasn't gotten over Froyo yet. If you guys watch our channel you know we're always trying to find Froyo and we can never find it and they've got one and it's right here in Surrey Hills and I'm, I don't need it but I'm gonna have it. So for Matt I made lots of chocolate. He's got the original tart yogurt. He's got Lots of nuts, toasted coconuts, a little bit of chocolate on there. Oh my gosh, what is that? A Kit Kat piece, an Oreo, and a oh. big glob of Nutella. And then for me, I like the dairy free. Um, they've got something called a vegan cookie dough. I don't even know. I don't even know how you do that. And then I like lots of fruit and that kind of stuff. So let's try this cookie dough. What is that? People are ready. Stop it! It's delicious. <laughs> Good. 
Good morning you guys! Now we have woken up and blue skies, the sun is shining which is a relief. I was a bit worried about it yesterday because today we are doing something really exciting, something we've never done before. We're going on a helicopter flight! So we're going to be doing a scenic helicopter flight around Sydney and I am so excited. I've never seen Sydney like this before. Now we booked all of this through Kluke and I'm going to have that linked below for you so you can book it too. Well, let's get going, I'm really excited! Look, that was a great experience, but... <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> the problem is that Phoebe gets very, very, very travel boat movement sick, and she's extremely sick. If there's even a chance, if they're like, if you're super sensitive, you might get sick. That's me. I'm always getting sick. But I think on the flip side of that is that I don't care and I still will do the thing. Ladies, people with long hair, claw clip. You need that so you can pin your hair back for when you inevitably throw up. And ginger beer. You, everywhere we've been, we've left bits of vomit all over <laughs> Australia and the world. True. And the thing you guys don't know, because I never used to share it. I've started sharing it recently with you, but I get sick, I throw up, and then I do the thing anyway. So in New Zealand... We climbed up a waterfall in Wanaka. I threw up in the porta potty right at the experience. It was disgusting. I threw up and then I had to go and scale the thing. <coughs> On the way up to um, Lady, Lady Elliot Eco Island Resort, I threw up on the plane. I, the plane stopped actually to pick up more passengers. I jumped off, threw up in a bin, got back on, kept going, went and snorkeled. When we were off at Turtle Island, I was throwing up in the water while looking at the turtles and I just kept <laughs> going. What do I do? Miss out on the awesome helicopter ride and not do them anymore? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm just gonna keep getting sick, keep throwing up, keep having the ginger beer, keeping Bundaberg Ginger Beer Company in business, single-handedly. <laughs> I refuse to miss out. <laughs> The ginger beer, five minutes in the car, a bit of fresh air, and I am back, baby. And it's time to eat. We actually skipped breakfast this morning, which ended up being a good thing. Um, so we're having brunch, and I thought we would come here to North Bondi to a spot called Speedo Cafe. I've never been here. I found it on Instagram. It's meant to be Australia's most Instagrammable cafe, which is a big call. Um, and it's awesome. We have these amazing water views. We got really lucky. We got this bench sheet so we can see the water, and the food looks beautiful. Now, Matt has got their avocado toast with the poached eggs. Let's do a poached egg test. Oh yeah, it looks like it's going to be perfect. Yes. Ooh. Nicely sort of a little cooked and then gooey in the middle. That's the way we like it. And then I ordered their vegan pancakes and they look so good. I asked Matt to share them with me because I thought it was going to be like huge. But Matt, I'm retracting that offer. I'm just going to eat them all myself. <laughs> Alright, Matthew, you actually don't know where we're going next. It's a little surprise. We're going to Luna Park. Yeah, Luna Park! <laughs> really? Yeah, we're going to Luna Park. Um, Matthew and I really like theme parks and roller coasters and all that kind of stuff. Well, you're going to vomit. For I'm sure. de absolutely definitely going to vomit and I don't care. I'm still going. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but we're seeing a lot more of Matt in this episode. I said on this trip, I'm sick of being Matt behind the camera. 
to be met in front of the camera. We've been begging you! Me! Yeah, I'm in the, the right people mood. of the internet! I'm in the right mood. The camera's the right one. I can flip it around. It's easy to hold. Are you saying the Z30's awakened something in you? It has! We should have got there years ago! We should change the name of the channel. To what? Phoebe and Matt in front of the camera. <laughs> I'll edit myself out, don't worry. Don't edit yourself out! We want to see you! <laughs> They're sick of seeing just me. Oh my gosh, I cannot keep looking at this phone. I'm getting so motion sick. <laughs> since I was a little kid um, and I lived in Sydney so I'm really excited slash terrified because I don't want to be sick so maybe Matt will do all the hardcore rides and I'll film him um, so we parked on site I think it was like roughly $10 an hour to park so it's not the cheapest parking but that's okay we're here we're having a great time um, and the parking does get slightly cheaper per hour and then tickets you buy a day pass it was $75 per person um, but we booked ours through Kluk and we will have that linked below so you can click through and book yours as well um, let's go let's go let's go inside and have fun <laughs> I thought you said you wanted to start I did I, I know I wanted to ease into it with the wheel and now we're going on vomit <laughs> or something no it goes hard that thing takes off and what's great about it is you come here on a weekday like we have it's so quiet you just get on the rides like straight away or like second or third ride it's really quick obviously we're just spending the afternoon here but you could easily spend the whole day here I had forgotten how much fun this is it's so different when you come back as an adult you appreciate it more it's big kid fun and it's the best kind of fun Oh, thank you. Oh, welcome to the car team. <laughs> All right, so we just had the loveliest little break. Look at how we can see ourselves. <laughs> you have no idea how luxurious this is being able to see ourselves. Um, we've just had the loveliest little break. We were both tuckered out like little kids after spending the afternoon at Luna Park. So we came back, watched a really romantic movie, saw two. Um, <laughs> And then we were like, we need to choose somewhere for dinner. I had chosen a spot for dinner, but I don't know. It just didn't feel like going out and driving too far. I wanted to go somewhere kind of close by. And we spent, I don't know, from the time we got home until like 15 minutes ago, trying to find the perfect place to eat. And this was the criteria, somewhere that wasn't too far away, somewhere that was kind of fancy because we've had such a nice couple of days. We want to end on a really high note with really good quality food, not just like cheap stuff. So, there it is. Wait. There, that one with the pretty fairy lights. It looks so delicious yeah, already. That's, that's the one. All right, so we are having dinner tonight at Dead Ringer. It's modern Australian, but they do have some Italian-inspired dishes on here. A beautiful little gnocchi, which Matt has ordered for his main. It looks absolutely beautiful. I got the barramundi. I was like, I just feel like a really well-cooked piece of fish. It just looks perfect. Um, I might, I might flip it over. <laughs> so I can just... The food at Dead Ringer was so good. We were debating whether we have dessert there or whether we come back to Yochi and obviously Yochi has won. The dessert here is so tasty and I can never have enough frozen yogurt. I really hope you've enjoyed watching the last two days unfold. We've just had such a lovely time. It's been a great mix between 
quality experiences, stuff we've really enjoyed, like the lunch cruise and then the helicopter flight and some amazing food, combined with a lot of fun, like Luna Park today and that awesome lunch. Um, I don't know, it's just been such a great balance. And we've also loved having the car to zip around and we were saying that Yaris is so affordable, it just costs us $16 to fill that car up after driving around for two days. It's been fantastic. We've also had a really great time exploring with the new Nikon Z30. A uh, huge thank you to Nikon for sponsoring our video this week, but also we genuinely love the camera. I think you guys would have loved seeing that in front of the camera, not just behind. I know I have. We've had so much fun vlogging. It's kind of allowed us to be more ourselves with you guys and share more of these fun moments that we have that we don't often get to share with you and there's so much i love about this camera we're going to be holding onto it and incorporating it into our videos moving forward because we're obsessed with it um, i love that red light on the front so i never have to ask matt again is it recording which i always do um, i love the snap bridge you download this app and i can get the photos and videos straight off the camera right onto my phone and get them up and done it's just so easy i also love the touch screen you use it like a smartphone you can like zoom in, press it to take photos of it, it is so easy and then the very angle one is it flips right out, um, you can set it to track your eye, it's always in focus, it's just it's awesome and it just has made it so easy and I hope you've enjoyed watching something a little different from us. And with that you guys it's time for me to eat my froyo and this episode to come to a close. I hope you have enjoyed it. Now if you don't already be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode and say hello in the comments below. I hope you have a great week. And me and my yoga will see you again for the brand new episode next week. Love ya.